Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Welcome back to my channel. This is another video in Microfunded Communication Playlist. In previous video, we have installed Angular Architects Model Federation Custom Builder Package in both the applications that is in host app and remote app. And we have assigned a dedicated port to both the applications. So let's start the server and check if everything works fine or not. For that, we'll go to the host app first and run the command ngs hyphen. As we can see, host app is running fine over 4200 port. Now let's start remote application as well. Before starting remote application, let's close all the files and we'll go to the remote app terminal and run the command ngs hyphen. It will open the remote application over 4300 port as we assigned that. So remote application is working fine over 4300 port as expected. Today in this video, we'll work on remote application and create a counter button in it. So let's quickly do that. To start the development, we'll first go inside app and then app component.html and we'll delete everything. Now we'll stop the server of remote application. Now we'll create the counter module and component. To create the counter module, we'll run the command ng g for generate m for module. The name of the module is counter with routing enabled. Iphone, Iphone routing. As we can see, counter folder has been generated inside which we have module file and the routing file. Now we'll generate the component file SCSS files. For that, we'll run the command ng g for generate c for component and counter is the name of the component and we'll press enter. So all the required files have been generated inside counter folder. Now we'll go inside the app routing.module.ts file and in the routes array, we'll create the route. First route will have a path as empty and the component that it will load is counter component. The path match property will be put. We'll save the routing module.ts file and in app.component.html file, we'll just write the tag router hyphen outlet. So, what will happen whenever user lands on the empty path, then the routing module will load the counter component HTML file in the router outlet tag. So, here the HTML file of counter component will be printed that is counter works. So, let's start the server and check if this is working or not. For that, we'll run the command ng s and press enter. So server has been started. Let's check over the browser. As we are on empty path, we can see that our routing thing is working fine and counter works is displayed. Now we'll create counter button here. So let's quickly do that. To create the counter button, we'll write button tag and let's give it a name as counter. We'll provide a class as counter and we'll write the CSS of it in the counter.css file. Say padding as 10 pixel, 20 pixel, border as 1 px, solid black, color as black. Also, let's provide border radius of 5 pixel and save it. So this is how our button looks like. Now on click of which we'll increase the counter. So let's create the placeholder for it. For that, we'll go inside the HTML and write the click event for this counter button. The function that it will call is handle counter. So we'll create this function inside the TS file of counter component. We'll save this file and it is giving error. Why? Because we have not created handle counter function in the TS file of counter component. So we'll go inside counter component TS file and create the handle counter function. So let's create that. We'll create Create a public variable as counter which will be initialized as zero and whenever we call this handle counter function then it will increase the counter variable by one now using the interpolation feature of angular we can use this counter variable inside this html file so let's do that and save the file let's check over the browser as we can see the value is showing as zero now if i click on counter button it increases by one two three there is one thing missing from the ux side that whenever we hover on this button hand icon should be displayed for that we will write in CSS as cursor pointer. So let's do that. So in CSS file, we'll write cursor pointer in the counter class. Now save it and check over the browser. If you hover over the counter button now, it will show you a hand icon. And if I click over here, it increases the counter by one. This is it for this video. Now let's meet in the next video. Till that, be happy. Take care. Signing out.